while the uh, concern is about the president, also a policeman was killed in Dallas. Bob, do you have that story? We have a picture of him here. 38-year-old J.D. Tippett was gunned down trying to uh, apprehend Lee Oswald. This man had been cited for bravery before, but uh, today he was shot down uh, while trying to arrest a man in the Texas theater in Fort Worth. In Dallas, rather. Here is the Texas theater, which is in the Oak Cliff section of Dallas. Now the, uh, now the policeman rushing to the scene. This is where the policeman was shot here in the home, I believe, in it, Bob, or was he shot in the theater? He was shot at the theater, the best we can gather. We might add these are exclusive uh, films of the uh, capture of Lee Oswald. Looking over the um, weapon that uh, murdered the policeman and checking the wallet taken from the suspect, Oswald, who has been charged, there is the very quick film of the movement of Oswald out of the theater where he was arrested into a squad car for a trip downtown, which was, was of course, just culminated minutes ago when Oswald was charged with the murder of the late President Kennedy. Now downtown, Dallas Police Department, Oswald's face was uh, considerably bruised when we saw him later, and this uh, is, according to police, uh, the result of a very, there he is, a very heavy scuffle with the police at the theater. Two of the policemen sprained ankles in trying to uh, get the man. He uh, saw them come in and said, okay, this is it, and uh, a fight ensued, and of course uh, there were four policemen who finally got him. Right, and now we're going to hear Police Sergeant Jerry Hill describe... Uh, uh, some of the uh, action that took place uh, with the apprehension of Oswald at the theater. A veteran police sergeant, Jerry Hill of the Dallas Police Force, who was uh, on hand and who assisted in the capture of him. And uh, we have uh, a film of, uh, of Hill's description of it himself. We thought we would bring you that next. ...that we had of the suspect in Oak Cliff was similar to the description we had and the man we were looking for as the assassin, but uh, at that time we had not been able to connect the two in any way. The only, the only discrepancy was two inches in height, is that correct? Approximately two inches in height was the only dis discrepancy in the in the description of the man who killed Officer Tippett and the man who shot the president. What was the description of that man? Uh, he was described as 5'6", five, 5'8", five, slight build, brown hair, having on a jacket, white shirt, and dark trousers. Actually, the suspect is about 5'10", and had discarded the jacket, which we found in the Oak Cliff area near a funeral home in the 400 block of East Jefferson. And at the time we uh, arrested the suspect, his pistol was again fully loaded, and we had a witness that said he saw the suspect stop long enough to reload his pistol after shooting the officer. What did you find in the building? Uh, where the president was in the, in the building on the sixth floor we found an area that near a window that had partially been blocked off by boxes of books and also the uh, three spent shells that had apparently been fired from a rifle also we found the remnants of what could have been a meal eaten by the suspect of a chicken dinner um, at that time, I left the building, and later I understand that in the same general vicinity, under some boxes, the rifle that was used was found. The man did not make any definite statement other than demanding to see a lawyer and demanding his rights when we arrested him. He did not volunteer any information to us at all. The only way we found out what his name was to, was to remove his billfold and check it ourselves. He wouldn't tell us what his name was. What did Do you believe that he is the same man who killed the police officer? Uh, having uh, been in it from the very beginning, as far as the officer's death is concerned, I am convinced that he is the man who killed the officer. Now, the tie in on the rest of it will have to be established by somebody else. Uh, as to whether the two situations are related, uh, other circumstances that are taking place in another part of the investigation, other than what I've been connected with, will have to be proved to tie the two together. 
It's interesting to note that Lee Oswald uh, at first uh, admitted nothing about the incident today. Then he said uh, he had been in the building where the shots had been fired at the time of the shooting. And then uh, a little later it was established that he uh, had actually worked in the building and had been employed there for, as a clerk for approximately two months.